Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is an opportunity for us to bring on chamber member businesses, uh, organizations, to talk about uh, work that they're doing, business that they're doing in the community, and economic development in the region. Uh, the TV show is brought to you by our sponsors, Bank Hometown, and we're pleased to have with us in 2024, supporting the show, St. Vincent Hospital. So again, thanks to Bank Hometown and St. Vincent Hospital. Pleased to have with us on our first segment, uh, two individuals who work uh, for Luck Inc., uh, Sean Fleury, who's the Assistant Director of Community Engagement and Support Services, and Meryl Werpola, who's the Community Engagement Specialist. Uh, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having us. Yeah, so, so Luck Inc. Uh, was started uh, back, uh, I believe, in 1970 by a couple of AmeriCorps volunteers. It's grown into a uh, large nonprofit uh, social service agency that employs people and provides services uh, in the North Worcester County, but now throughout Worcester County, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So we have services all the way from Athol all the way down to Webster, everything in between. Um, and it's, it's great you mentioned that we we're founded by two AmeriCorps members. I'm a former AmeriCorps VISTA member myself too, so when I got onto Luck, it really hit home and drove my passion even further for the agency. Right, right. And for viewers who may not be familiar, you know, uh, the Peace Corps was started in the early 1960s under President Kennedy, but that was expanded. The Peace Corps, uh, generally speaking, young people uh, go out, serve a year or two somewhere around the globe on various projects that help uh, help uh, developing nations, et cetera, on various things. But the AmeriCorps was focused on people who give a year or two of service here in the United States and, and various uh, places. And, and that's what ultimately led to the establishment of luck. For sure. And yeah, I think that's the big, uh, kind of like the, how people distinguish it, right? Uh, AmeriCorps is domesticated, where Peace Corps is national. Right, right. Uh, Meryl, maybe you could jump in a little bit about the services, the, the range of services that uh, Luck Inc. provides. Sure, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, Luck provides um, intervention prevention services, and today specifically we're here to talk about the mentoring program, which is really awesome, can't wait to dive into that. Um, trauma services, counseling, so many others that I can't even remember to name off the top of my head. I just started last summer, so I still don't know everything yet, still wrapping my head around it, but it's been an amazing year. Excited to start the new year and go into it with providing many more years of service. We just celebrated our 53rd birthday last mm -hmm. year. Like you said, 1970 we started. So very excited to be able to expand and provide more services to our yeah, community. Yeah, I think I had a couple of your colleagues. Now you're jogging my memory. Maybe it was the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. uh, when we had a couple of your colleagues on the TV show to talk a little bit about that and the range of services. Um, you know, one of the things that, that I think has come to the fore uh, in the conversation both during COVID and the pandemic and then and the aftermath is some of the issues around mental health. Uh, and and uh, that's a big component of the services that you provide working with various populations and groups in that space. Yeah, for sure. And we've, we've seen the need and our, our referral lists have grown. Um, and we're trying to do the best we can to support all those youth, uh, like we said, all throughout Central Mass. You know, we have programs within the school settings. We have the clinical services that Merrill mentioned, residential settings uh, for youth who might need placement services. Um, and like, like you mentioned, there's been a huge increase of referrals and, and need for youth all throughout the state. Um, and we're doing the best we can to provide support for those youth. And um, you know, our, our, our staff do an amazing job every day supporting these youth. And like Merrill said too, especially our mentoring program, right? Like it, that's the program where um, you know, there, there might not be a diagnosis or a checkbox or anything like that. It's just those youth that need that extra support. And, you know, we're, we're looking for mentors all the time uh, to support those youth, and, and they do an amazing job. And that, and, you know, Luck, I think, as I mentioned, provides a range of services, but there is a particular area of focus on kind of the young people and some of those services, uh, Sean, that you were talking about. The state contracts out uh, and, and school districts, et cetera, and that's where you uh, work with them to get to do that kind of work on, on counseling and support services. Yeah, yeah, so we have state contracts, federal contracts, private contracts, uh, fundraising, which we're here to talk a little yeah. bit about too. And um, so yeah, all sources, donations, yeah. uh, our kind folks that do that on a daily basis, sponsorships, all those kind of things. So, so yeah, we don't, we don't leave a stone unturned and we're always looking for more funding to, right. to help support our services. And so, you know, there's those contracts, but as you mentioned, you've got to do some of that, that fundraising in particular. You've got the, the Kids at Heart monitor, uh, mentoring program, and maybe we could just talk a 
a little bit about that program, then we can get into the gala and the event that's going to take place to help uh, support some of that work. Absolutely. So actually in my role, I oversee our mentoring program directly. So I'll talk a little bit about the program. Miracle can kind of fill in the pieces to the gala and we'll go from there. But um, so our mentoring service serves youth all throughout Central Mass. Again, anywhere from Athol all the way to Webster in between. Um, at any given time, we have over 100 plus kids on our wait list. We're always looking for mentors like us, right? Young professionals, folks who've retired, teachers who want to do something after, you know, the, the, the day ends for school and all those kind of things. And, and they assume with someone wants to volunteer, it's a training program and they work. Absolutely. With you yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a few steps in our mentor process. You know, they, they first reach out for an inquiry. Um, they can reach out to myself directly or mentoring at luck.org. Um, and we'll get that inquiry and we'll reach out. We do our interview phase. We, we quarry everyone to make sure, you know, there's their background checks clear and all those kind of things to meet our youth. And our commitment is an hour a week uh, for a year. And often our mentors go above and beyond that. And, you know, the, the, there's so many amazing stories you hear about, you know, there's, there's a youth that I remember I, I got told from our stories from our staff that um, their, ever, their first ever birthday cake was because of their mentor. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. first time they've ever gotten ice cream was because their mentor took them. So it's an amazing program and, and the, the, the strides and successes you hear from these youth from folks who are just willing to give back. It, it's truly amazing. Things that many, many of us take for granted. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and, and when you hear those, right, and, and um, it just makes you, reminds me of what I do and why I do it. Right, um, right. Stories like that. So, Meryl, you get to, to, to plan and talk a little bit about the, the gala, the event, the party, kind of honor, uh, raise some money for, to support this work, but also pr I'm, I'm sure recognize some of the people that have been involved. Sure, yeah, absolutely. So the gala itself is a huge gathering um, really to focus on the mentoring program and the amazing mm -hmm. things that it provides. These youth in our community really do experience some things for the first time. They may not have a reliable adult in their network and then we find one for them. A lot of times they have a common interest. Uh, mm -hmm. They'll take them, like Sean said, for their first ice cream. But also mentees with mentors have been found to perform better in school, higher self-esteem, make more friends when they have that connection with a mentor. So this mm -hmm. gala is really a celebration of that, but it's also a fundraising event to raise funds to be able to provide more of those relationships for kids in our community. Yeah. So we have local businesses sponsor, we have community members help donate mm -hmm. items, lots of fun things at the gala itself. So we have dinner, auctions, uh, raffles, all kinds of other fun, just gathering together for an amazing cause at the end of the day and we'll have some representation from the mentors and mentees as well to firsthand talk about the program. Right, right. Yeah. And it's at a great facility, the Devons Commons Center, which is a, a, a great uh, facility to have an event like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the date is February 15th? Yes. February 15th from 5.30 to 10. Uh, and if people are interested in tickets or contributing or learning more, how can they do that? They can visit our website, luck.org, or they can reach out to any of us directly. We also have um, an email that you can reach out to if you want to learn anything, if you're interested in sponsoring, if you're interested in giving, mentoring program in general. We have mentoring at luck.org, or if you are interested more in learning about the gala, you can reach out to luckgala at luck.org. And it's luck, L-U-K dot O-R-G. Yes. And if it's the gala, it's uh, uh, <laughs> slash uh, L-U-K dot org slash Gala. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, but, that's a lot. <laughs> but luck.org is the key, and uh, that's an opportunity again to to buy tickets, to go uh, and uh, uh, to uh, just contribute and learn more about, about about the program. And I assume the more successful this event is, um, perhaps that plays into reducing that wait list, Sean, that you talked For about. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So mentoring is the one program within Luck. Um, it's a very small team. It's a four-person team within Luck of 300 plus employees, um, but it's the one program within Luck that really uses these donation dollars into our operating budget for the program. Um, so these dollars are huge for the program, and like you mentioned, Tim, to really um, get us matched, make make more of these matches for those kids waiting that really need that support. Got it. Got it. Uh, so again. Uh Great, great organization. Thanks for the work that you're doing around uh, Worcester County. And uh, if people are interested in learning more, again, uh, luk.org. Uh, that's about luck. And uh, the event is on February 15th from 5.30 to 10. And it is the Kids at Heart Mentoring Gala. So, uh, Meryl, Sean, thanks for being with us. 
Thank you. Thank you for having us. And appreciate the, the work that you and your 300 colleagues do around the region. Appreciate you and your time. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.